Willpower is the level of strength that we have of consciously commanding our will. And our will is what allows us to do anything. You know, to move my body, to speak these words, it takes will to do these things. You know, to get up in the morning, it takes it takes willpower. And depending on your level of willpower will depend on how many times you're hitting the snooze button. You know, and because that's, you know, a determinant of, of willpower. Willpower is the measurement of how much control and power you have of will. And it can change in an instant. You know, there's stories that you can Google at any time of people who had extraordinary amounts of strength within an instant. You know, a lot of times it's mothers and things, like, like in my own family. You know, they told me about a time when my cousin, an uh, older cousin of mine, got hit by a car and my uncle, you know, ran out to the car. My cousin was pinned underneath the car and with one hand, he lifted the car off the ground and with the other, he pulled my cousin out from underneath the car. And, you know, to an ordinary person, and you know, to me, when I was a kid hearing this, I'm like, oh, this dog, my uncle's amazing. You know, and, and, every, and that's how, because that's how everybody would tell the stories. It was like Superman, I don't know how it happened. But it was because in an instant, the ability of his mind to command will to those muscles had increased extraordinary amounts within that moment. And so, you know, these are just different capabilities. So we all have those capabilities at all times. It just takes that same level of command at any time that we want to have that utilize that same strength. So through understanding willpower, we are in a better position to be able to understand how to increase our willpower. So through understanding what will is and the mechanics of how it works, then we understand what willpower is. And willpower essentially is making a conscious choice consciously and following through with that choice. And so I'm sure many of us have had the experience of, you know, saying, all right, you know, I'm not gonna eat any more sweets, you know, and so that's a conscious choice, but then we don't follow through with it. Or, you know, I just got off work, I'm gonna, you know, go home and change and go to the gym after work. But we get home and we sit down and, you know, next thing we know we're real tired, we're you know, telling ourselves, I'm kind of tired, I'm just gonna stay here. And so we made a choice, but we didn't follow through with it. And so each time that this happens, it's weakening your willpower. Your willpower is going down. What you had chosen to do, you are not doing. And the weaker your willpower, the more susceptible you are to being influenced by your environment and outer, you know, things outside of yourself. And also, like earlier, you know, talked about hitting the snooze button. That's a sign of a weak will. You know, you set a time, you made a conscious choice. I'm going to get up at, you know, 6 a.m and then you hit the snooze button. You know, I'm, gu I'm really guilty of that. And, um, you know, it's so much so to where, you know, you kind of set, this, set the alarm well before where you truly intend to get up because you know you're gonna be hitting the snooze button. I mean, it's, it's insane, but it's a sign of weak will. So that is one great way that you can increase your willpower. You know, starting today is just setting an alarm clock, you know, until, and not hitting the snooze button and getting up as soon as you set it. And you can strengthen your willpower up to the point where you don't even need an alarm clock. Just before you go to bed, you say, I will get up at 6 a.m. And it's, it's phenomenal. Anytime I try, I have a friend who does this all the time and he stimulated me to try it. And I'm still kind of like, you know, in my mind, I have a lot of limitations around it, um, limiting myself. And so I don't really try it all the time, but it was fa always fascinating to me the times I would try it and it would actually work. And so on the other side of it, there are things that you can do to strengthen your willpower, you know, making a conscious choice and following through with it. So the next time that you do sit there and think to yourself, I'm going to go to the gym this, this, and that time, say it out loud, invoke it vocally, you know, create a vibration and speak it out into the universe, into your environment, to your body and say, I will go to the gym at, at 6 PM after I get home from work and then follow through with it and realize that if you follow through with it, you're strengthening your willpower. If you don't follow through with it, you're chopping it off at the knees. And you don't have to start out with such, you know, things that you already have difficulty with. Start out with things that you're already doing. You know, as soon as you get ready for bed, I'm going to brush my teeth and then go in and brush your teeth. I'm going to read for 30 minutes and then fall asleep. And then read for 30 minutes, set the book down and go to sleep. You know, uh, I'm going to remember my dreams. I will remember my dreams. Close your eyes and, remember, and in the morning you'll remember a dream. I will save $50 a week for the next two months. 
and then make sure that you follow through with it and do it. And these small things you can do and it will slowly increase your willpower to where then it's easier and you also kind of create a habit of speaking it out loud and following through with it to where it makes it a lot easier. So then when you say, I will only drink water and, and or tea for the next two weeks, you know, then it's very easy to follow through with that because you've already taken time to build up the small steps. So now that you have a basic understanding of willpower, I'm excited for you to go through these next few weeks and, and with the main focus being more on concentration as far as the activities, just realize that it will take willpower to do this every single day. And so I would encourage you to as soon as this video is over or right now while it's playing, say, I will complete this course. I will do every exercise every day. I will give myself the full experience in order to have the full results and know what I am capable of and see what happens for you. You know, it, it'll be amazing, I promise you. And so, it, and it'll be life changing and it will affect every aspect of your life from the work that you do, the relationships that you have, your communication, the way you listen, the way you talk, the way you think, uh, everything in your life, the way you breathe, everything will be affected by increasing your level of concentration and increasing your willpower and both will increase the other. It, it's, it's amazing how inter intertangled they are in that way. But find out for yourself. You know, don't listen to me, don't believe me. Like I always say, do not believe a word that I say, but find out for yourself. That way you can know what is true. So thank you.